Have you ever wanted to build a robot arm? Or what about one that is made out of Lego and powered with computer vision? Well today I'm going to teach you how to build and code this super fun project. Now I've been waiting for a long time to tackle a project like this and now with the launch of the Raspberry Pi and Lego's build hat, uh, it is now a reality. For this project you will need the Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor, a Raspberry Pi, I'm using a 4B with 4 gigs of RAM, a Raspberry Pi camera module, any camera will do, I'm using the version 2.1 camera, a micro SD card and adapter, uh, the cables for your Raspberry Pi, and of course the keystone that makes this whole thing work, the Raspberry Pi build hat and the build hat power supply. In terms of gear, that's it. Other than that, there's a little bit of coding involved, but don't worry, I'm going to leave you all the files in the GitHub link in the video description. In this video, I'm going to take you through all the steps to get this project set up, and then I'll also walk you through the Python code uh, that actually powers the robot arm logic. Now I spent a lot of time getting this project to work, so if you find this video interesting, then please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me make more coding videos, so I thank you in advance. You can also support me by buying a PDF of these uh, LEGO ARM instructions. For the price of a cup of coffee, you can get detailed instructions for every step of your Mindstorms robot inventor to turn it into a robot ARM. Uh, it's also a lot easier to read, it's very detailed, uh, and then you can print it off and make your life a whole lot easier. If not, there's no problem, I'm going to walk you through the whole build right now. Let's start building. Now that we have our LEGO build out of the way, it's time to connect our Raspberry Pi. Uh, make sure you install the camera module and the build hat is completely fastened. So you see here, the camera module goes through this little gap in the build hat uh, and uh, the camera uh, comes out uh, just like so. Uh, you make sure that the uh, ports are all taken by your, um, your motors. So the thumb motor goes into port A 
Uh, the index finger goes into port B. The middle fingers and uh, the ring finger goes into port C. And then your pinky goes into port D. So uh, make sure that uh, all those cables are aligned properly and put inside the build hat. Uh, and then this little part here, uh, we can now uh, detach from the front of the camera holder. And what I really like about this uh, build is that this camera module uh, fits very snugly in between uh, these two uh, Lego pieces here. So after you plug that in, uh, you just attach it to your camera holder. There we go. The next part is flashing your micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi operating system and then installing OpenCV and MediaPipe. OpenCV is an open source free machine learning uh, uh, library and it allows the camera, like the one that's attached to your Raspberry Pi, uh, to recognize uh, objects, faces and hand gestures. Uh, so it's going to be really important for this to be installed. And MediaPipe is a machine learning framework. So I'm going to provide you the links to install both of these uh, in the description below. Uh, after you have got it all installed, then you come back here and continue the project. Unlike with most Raspberry Pi projects, you will need the build hat power supply, not the normal USB-C power supply, in order to get the motors to work. We need this in order to power all four of the Lego motors that are connected to the build hat. And once you have the build hat power supply connected, make sure you disconnect the USB-C power supply. Once OpenCV and MediaPipe are installed, it's time to install our build hat uh, library. So load up your Raspberry Pi, go into interfaces in the preferences menu. So here we go into uh, the Raspberry Pi menu, preferences, and then Raspberry Pi configuration. Go into interfaces. And then here, what I want you to do is enable serial port and disable uh, serial console. So uh, enable serial port and disable serial console. Once you press OK, it might ask you to reboot your Raspberry Pi. After rebooting, it's time to install the actual build hat drivers. So here we go into our terminal. And then we type in sudo pip3 install build hat. After you hit enter, wait for the installation to complete and then download all of my project files into the same folder. Uh, once you've downloaded all my files into the same folder, then run the robot arm code using a program like Thony or Moo. Here I go into programming and I'm going to open Thony. And this is our build hat code. So we start by importing the build hat uh, get the motors and then also our OpenCV uh, code here. Okay, so make sure your module file is also in the same folder as your robot arm code. Here we're defining all of our functions. So uh, on OpenCV, uh, you'll see that there is some documentation about what these numbers mean. These are basically the different knuckle joints uh, on your hand. And then you scroll down to see, uh, this is where we define our motors. So we call them thumb motor, which is motor A, index motor, motor B, middle motor, motor C. So the middle motor is the middle finger and also the ring finger as well. And then we got our pinky motor and motor D. Uh, I've created a open and close thumb uh, function here. Uh, basically uh, it's to uh, make it so that the thumb is checked separate to all the fingers. And then here we have our move fingers um, code, this, um, uh, this function. Uh, basically it will check uh, all the, uh, how many of our fingers are up and then it's going to move our motors to a, an absolute position depending on if the fingers were up or down. Okay. So when this uh, move fingers code runs, it actually moves one motor at a time to position. Now, I'm not really sure how I can move uh, multiple fingers at the same time uh, and accurately to the same position because uh, what I find is that the build hat uh, doesn't have the same kind of response time or the precision as the, um, 
uh, as the Lego Mindstorms hub. But uh, I'll let you uh, users have a, have a go. If you can improve upon my code, then feel free to comment it below. And I'd be very, very interested in checking out uh, some better ways to do this. So here we're moving our middle fingers motor. Uh, and then we have our infinite loop that creates our, um, uh, our window, our video. And then uh, this is basically doing all the measurements for our uh, finger knuckles, okay? And then at the end, we will be running the, um, uh, the fingers code here. So, um, so when the fingers uh, are changed, then, um, uh, then we run the move fingers um, function. So here's the thumb, and then here's the fingers, okay? All right, so all you have to do now is press the play button. Okay, here we are. So now I will position my hand in front of the camera. And then if I make this rock star sign, then the uh, robot will also imitate it. There is a little bit of a delay. Uh, I'm still working on trying to improve the performance of this code, but uh, it seems to work quite well. Uh, it's not um, uh, super fast uh, like I had hoped it would be, but uh, like I said, if there are any users out there who can uh, check out my code and try this project, I'll be very grateful if you can uh, see if you can improve on uh, our code as well. And there you have it. This is my Lego arm powered by computer vision. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas or feedback on how I can improve on this project, then make sure you post it in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.